Let's combine our power, energy and consciousness right now, creating a unified field. Let's practice a breathing meditation. Sit so that you can feel that your spine is straight. You can sit at the edge of a seat, stretch your spine out long and reach the top of your head towards the sky. Place your hands on your knees or lap, palms facing up. Or you can place your hands in any way that is comfortable. Close your eyes. And rotate your eyeballs to gaze upwards, so that you are staring into the space, beyond your closed eyelids. Gaze through the center of your forehead, keeping your eyes looking upwards. You don't have to raise them too high, just comfortably so. Lift your tongue up and curl it backwards, as if you are trying to reach the back of your throat with the tip of your tongue. It is an unusual tongue position, but it is linked to some very important processes. The scientific concentration technique takes into account your psychophysiology. We work with the central nervous system. We work with neurons. We awaken interhemispheric connections and establish new neural networks. By raising your gaze upwards, you immediately switch on the right hemispheric level of perception. Do not tense your jaw. Teeth can be touching each other, but not clenched. Keep your tongue reaching back and your gaze upwards. Feel your forehead. Feel the surface of your head, the back of the head, the spine, the whole body temple. Feel all parts of the body evenly, from the top of your head down to your toes. Keep your eyes gazing upwards. Stare into the space beyond your closed eyelids. Feel the forehead, the back of the head, the entire length of the spine. Relax the chest and abdomen. Breathing is relaxed. Breathing happens. Meditation happens. Samadhi happens. You don't have to think about anything in particular. You don't have to push thoughts away. But it's important to switch your attention to sensations. Forehead, back of the head the entire length of the spine. Do it whatever way that you can. Stop rating yourself. Stop judging yourself. Wondering if you're doing it right or not. Simply feel. This is the correct basic position for a Kriya meditation. In this correct position, when you concentrate your consciousness, on the forehead, back of the head and spine, on the whole body, when you feel your vessel of transcendental power, and the projection points, forehead, back of the head and spine, when you keep your eyes gazing upwards, if they drop down out of habit, 
lift them up at once. Only a human being can consciously keep their eyes gazing upwards. This speaks of your evolution. When you keep your tongue reaching back, residing in these sensations, you can transform yourself rapidly, awakening the special qualities given from above. Five Vedic values. Satya, Dharma, Prema, Shanti, and Ahimsa. Satya is truth. It is what unites us and resides in us, what we aim for. Dharma is righteousness or duty or the law. Prema is unconditional love. Shanti is peace and rest. When we focus on peace or rest, when we say Shanti, we dedicate the peace to the physical body, mental body, and spiritual body. Breathing is relaxed, it simply happens. Ahimsa is non-violence. The five Vedic values that arise during your simple practice, without any effort, with the right body geometry, when the body is correctly positioned in space, they appear naturally. They eliminate the five demonic qualities that arise as a consequence of interacting with the surrounding space. Today, here and now, we dedicate the breathing meditation to unity with the Higher Self, to comprehending the Truth. Observe your natural inhale and exhale. Do not consider it a simple action. Breathing is life, a manifestation of life. The whole universe is contained in one breathing rhythm. Observe your natural inhale and exhale. Breathing occurs. Hold the forehead, back of the head and spine, the whole body temple in your consciousness. Experience, observe from the side, feeling the inhale and exhale appear. It is a simple action. But this action contains an enormous number of transformations. Feel the forehead, back of your head and spine. Breathing is life. While breathless state is immortality. Every time an inhale appears, you are receiving prana, the life force. By absorbing this higher power, through which you absorb all the energy qualities, you perceive the presence of the Creator from your head to your toes. It is your consciousness encompassing the entire body temple that allows you to experience life and the manifestation of life. All that you feel, all the changes arising in your body right now 
Perceive them as the presence of the Almighty Power. Keep your gaze upwards, your tongue a little further back. Observe your breath and be present in your actions. Maintaining your concentration on the forehead, back of the head and spine. Feel the vibrations in the body contours. Perceive the subtle changes that appear right now as the activity of prana, the life force. Simply feel what you feel without trying to understand it. Take a conscious deep breath in. Hold it for a few seconds. Feel your heavenly vessel or the vessel of transcendental power. Breathe out and sink your mind deeper and deeper into your spine. Breathe out consciously until the end. Take another conscious breath in. Hold your breath. Feel your vessel of transcendental power even more brightly, as much as you can. Breathe out. Sink your mind even deeper. Expand your stomach and chest. Place your right hand on your forehead and your left on the back of your head. Continue to observe your breath in this position. We are now awakening the special centers by focusing on the breath. What I am giving you is an applied technique that will allow you to quickly obtain an effect anywhere. This is linked to your psychology, psychosomatics, and bioenergetics. This is linked to the spiritual aspect of your presence, first and foremost. We breathe in this position and observe our breath. Gaze upwards, bring the tongue a little further back. Feel your lower back. Feel the back of your ribcage. And around the back of your head. Feel your body contours in this position. Breathing happens. If you feel it stop, observe it. And if it grows more rapid, observe it. We are now releasing the stress programs that are located subconsciously. Swap your arms around. The left goes on your forehead and your right on the back of your head. Continue to feel. Feel the forehead, the back of the head, spine, and the whole body temple.
The sensations may change. These are very subtle processes, so observe them. Do not try to understand why this is happening. Immerse yourself in these sensations. Shorten the space between your spine and your mind, between the mind and body. Feel the body temple more and more strongly. Cross your fingers and place your hands on the back of your head. Don't press down on the back of your head. Simply feel it. Observe your breathing. Breathing happens. Make a few clockwise circling motions with your right hand. Sink your mind inside your head. to the left, to the right. Return your arms to the starting position. Feel the forehead, the back of the head, the length of your spine, and the whole body temple. Every inhale and exhale is absorbing the prana life force. Prana is a higher power that carries knowledge of the universe knowledge of ourselves, and it is present inside us. The power of your concentration, your acceptance of yourself, through I am breathing, I am sensations, allows you to feel the deeper knowledge and perceive this knowledge as personal experience. All knowledge is inside us. All abilities are inside us. The entire evolution is inside us. Feel the body temple and all parts of the body evenly. Keeping your consciousness in the spine, back of the head and forehead. Feel the body contours. We are now breathing with the body contours. Ignore the work of the chest and abdomen. Feel the body contours, feel the space. Breathe with the space. Breathe with the nerve endings of the whole body temple. Breathe with the body contours. Try to feel this subtle power, this mighty power. Sufficiently good concentration can stop your breathing. The breathing pauses or stops if concentration is sufficiently powerful. Keep your gaze upwards and your tongue back. Feel all parts of the body. Breathe with the body.
Enough. Stay with your eyes closed. Feel. Continue the practice. We will now move on to the next stage of the Kriya action. Just a few words on meditation based on breathing. You can utilize this technique in any place you find yourself in. This is internal work, and it is a sufficiently effective approach or method. You need to remember that a person is given a certain number of inhales and exhales for this life. When you concentrate your attention on the vessel of transcendental power, body magnetization occurs, while the breathing slows down, which extends life. If you breathe rapidly, your life shortens. The average person makes 21,600 breaths per day. If you breathe like this, your life won't be long. But when you practice a breathing meditation, you create conditions for powerful body energization. The number of inhales and exhales per minute will decrease. Thus, prolonging life. It is good if you naturally make one, two, three or maximum four breaths per minute without forcing yourself. For this will become your nature. We will now work through your sensitive cerebrospinal centers, which you call chakras. Please sit so that you can feel that your spine is straight. Gaze upwards and bring your tongue a little farther back. Muladhara chakra is the energy center responsible for your resilience. It is located at the base of the spine. The next center on the side of the spine is the Svadhisthana chakra over the lumbosacral joint. The next center is opposite the solar plexus, Manipura chakra. Further up, opposite the thymus gland in the center of the chest, on the side of the spine is the Anahata chakra. The next center, the base of the neck and throat, is Vishuddha. Then the center of the head or Ajna chakra. Finally, the crown of the head or the Sahasrara chakra. Seven centers. We now concentrate our attention on the forehead, the back of the head, the spine, the whole body temple. We feel all parts of the body equally while breathing happens by itself. It doesn't matter if it's rapid or slow. Maintain all your attention on the forehead, back of the head, and spine. Do not drop your eyes down. If they do lower down, lift them up at once and stare into the space on the other side of your closed eyelids. Feel your tailbone, the first center. Connect two areas, the Ajna Chakra and the first center. This is possible if you feel the whole length of the spine. 
Don't stress and don't judge yourself about whether you can do it or not. You can do it all. Remember a very important model of existence. If you hear about something, moreover, if you participate in it, then it is for you. If you meet something, then you are able to transform it, learn it, accept it. We continue to feel the Muladhara Chakra, the first center, the tailbone center, while maintaining an upward gaze and also feeling the center of the head, Ajna Chakra. Achieve a sensation of solidity in the tailbone. Energy can be found where your attention is. Do not imagine this energy, rather feel it. Any visualizations are films and images that lead you astray. Those who get carried away with visualizations and visual thinking lose energy. All changes that arise in the body should be felt by us, inside us. Knowledge and energy are inside us. Divine strength can be found where your attention is. Keep your gaze upwards, draw the energy from the tailbone into the lumbosacral spine. Maintain this area in your consciousness, simply feel it. Do not think about whether you're succeeding or not. Feel the lumbosacral spine. If anyone finds hard to feel it, place both hands over your lower back and press into this area to feel it. It is enough to feel it. Gaze upwards, tongue back. Ensure your attention is concentrated on this zone. When you practice independently, you will be able to dedicate more time and attention to these areas in the astral plane, which exist as chakras. Physical connection in the body along the spine is the area of the astral projection or the chakras. Keep your gaze upwards and your tongue back. Draw the energy of the lumbosacral spine up to the Manipura chakra. Opposite the solar plexus and feel it from the side of the spine. Feel the area. Do not imagine, feel it. Achieve energy solidification by concentrating your attention. And this is chakra magnetization. Be sure that you will achieve it all. Do not expect too much from yourself in the early stages. Simply feel. Then draw this energy up to the level of the chest, from the back, Anahata Chakra. Continue to gaze upwards and the tongue reaching back. Feel your astral heart. Feel 
the area of Jivatma. Jivatma is that which has become alive. A soul manifesting itself as life. Feel this area. Perceive the presence in it. Draw the energy further, lift it up to the neck and throat. To the Vishuddha chakra. Feel. And keep your consciousness in this area. Concentrate the energy. Divine strength can be found where your attention is. Slowly raise the energy to the center of the head. Feel the center of the head, the Ajna Chakra. Also sense the entire length of the spine, but pay more attention to the center of the head. Lift the energy to the crown of the head. These are very subtle processes which can be barely perceptible, but they are occurring. Feel the crown of the head, the Sahasrara Chakra, the entire length of the spine, the whole body temple. The eyes are gazing into space through the center of the head, the willpower center. The energy slowly descends into Ajna Chakra, the center of the head. Feel the area, the energy cluster in the center of the head. If someone wants to imagine it, imagine a small sun inside your head. Now, we join two directions together with the breath. During a normal breath in, the Ajna Chakra becomes bigger, like a sun or clump of energy. And smaller on the breath out. It becomes more solid bigger, then smaller. We breathe with the chakra. Breathe in, chakra grows bigger. Breathe out, chakra grows smaller. But the energy is more concentrated. Feel the forehead, back of the head, spine, as well as the whole body temple. Each person has their own breathing rhythm, so I'm not going to count you in. Right now, observe your breathing and breathe with the chakra independently. Slowly lower the energy into the Vishuddha Chakra at the base of the neck and throat. Keep your gaze upwards, feel the entire length of the spine. Feel the Vishuddha Chakra. 
Feel the energy cluster. Breathe. With the Vishuddha chakra, energy grows bigger, grows smaller. The chakra grows bigger, grows smaller. You don't have to purposefully imagine this. Let go of the images and turn your attention to sensations. Energy can be found where your attention is. Keep your spine straight and feel all parts of the body evenly. as Vishuddha grows bigger and smaller. We solidify energy in the Vishuddha chakra and lower it down to Anahata, the center of the chest. I recommend feeling it from the back, Feel the heart center. Feel it rather than imagine it. Normal breath in, normal breath out. Energy grows bigger, energy grows smaller. We breathe with the Anahata Chakra. Compress the energy and lower it into the Manapura Chakra, the area opposite the solar plexus. Breathe with the Manipura Chakra, bigger, smaller. Lower the energy into the Svadhisthana Chakra, into the Lumbarosacral region. Feel it from the spine. Gather the energy in Svadhisthana. Gaze upwards, tongue back. We breathe with the chakra. Lower the energy into the Muladhara chakra the tailbone center. Breathe with the Muladhara chakra. We do not need to imagine the color of the chakras. We need to feel the areas. Energy can be found where your attention is. We are what we think. We direct our attention to the heavenly presence from our head to our toes. 
All centers and all chakras are the one presence. All chakras correspond to all the worlds, starting from the spirit world and ending with this physical space. The seven chakras are the seven worlds inside us. Now breathe from the tailbone to the crown of the head, independently, uniting all the centers. Raise the energy up during the breath in, up to the crown of the head. Hold your breath for three seconds. Keeping your gaze up, then lower your attention, down on the breath out. Do this several times on your own. Feel your spine as a hollow tube. A transparent, glowing, fluorescent tube inside us. The vessel of transcendental power is full of energy. It is important to understand that what we are is this clump of power, a clump of energy. Therefore, every time you practice, every time that you perform any Kriya techniques, pay attention to the sensations that arise in the body as the presence of the higher. Right here and now, all that we can feel, see and hear, all the changes that appear in the body, it is the sacred presence. It is the highest power, the power of the cosmic consciousness manifesting as a body. Assert this idea again and again as you sink your mind into the spine. By using this mental strength, asserting this idea and solidifying the energy, we awaken special qualities bestowed from above. Good, that's enough.